All right, I think I got everything set up correctly, and I don't think anything's broken yet. <laughs> uh, hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. After two weeks, I had to take off because it was just horrible <laughs> these last few weeks. But I'm back now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I have Midnight Lady here next to me. Hello. There she is. And uh, yeah, let's uh, turn on the desktop audio and go to the live screen. There we are. <laughs> now you may oh and daisy too excuse you <laughs> bless you my child there we are um so uh yeah i flipped the uh, face cam and chat around a little bit i think it looks a little better um so and the chat fades so it won't block the screen too much anyway so uh yeah um let's start this and before we start spyro 2 um, let's talk about Spyro 1 for a second here, because you had the scoot at the end of the last stream mm -hmm. to start your stream. And by the way, Midnight Lady does stream, so, follow. I have to test actually Overwatch pretty soon. Excuse yeah. me. Huh? Be nice. What'd I do? It just randomly started, like, doing the Activision thing, and it was... I clicked on it, that's why. Magic. Magical controller. <laughs> By that I mean technological technology. Okay, so follow. Um, midnight lady. Want to? Why do you have to pick such a long name? <laughs> you picked it, remember? No, I don't actually. Yeah, you did years ago when I first had a PS4. I All found right. you're the one that's like, how about midnight lady? And Fine. Oh, okay. And then I kind of like grew to love it. I'm just like, it's mine now. I have a knack for picking stuff <laughs> out for midnight lady here. I mean, I from clothes to even a freaking change purse. I just reached out and like, Do how's this? How's, how, how's this? And she was, you were like, <laughs> like st st standing there in the middle of my air, completely shocked at me. That it was and on sale. And you, it was on sale too. And you were, and you were, and you were, you, sp you spun I still have it. Yeah. And you spun around that wallet counter for like, like twice and still didn't see it. And I'm just like, pick it up. How about this? And yeah, you're no. like, oh my God, amaze. And you picked out, it was just last night, I was looking for a charger for my new phone. No, it was uh, phone. Sunday night. Sunday night? Yeah, it was Sunday like night. Yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday uh, I had to take our grandmother to the hospital. Yeah. Um, she, she's doing well, she had a heart procedure, um, and she's doing really good. So, um... Um, I, I didn't know what to get, so I'm just like, it doesn't say, and then it goes with Android. Like, it doesn't say. He thinks so. He's like, yeah, this is this is what you're gonna need. I'm just like, get home, plug it in. He was crap. <laughs> Do I know my technology or what? Yeah, I mean, I, I guess you get a knack for just guessing. Picking things out. I don't know. I just do. I don't even try it either. I just like, here. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> Shame I can't do that in hot topic for you though. Yeah, you do. Do I? <laughs> I don't know. I don't frequent Hot Topic anyway, so <laughs> on the off chance I am there, I'm just in know what you're looking for, I'm just like... <laughs> anyway, so before we actually start Spyro 2 today, um, like I said, because uh, you had to scoot and start your stream, um, right at the end of mine, um, yeah, only on cable, gotta do a PS4 remote play, hooray, uh, hey that rhyme, um, <laughs> um, what was I saying, oh yeah, um, you didn't get to see the end, and we didn't really get to discuss what we liked about uh, Spyro 1 here. So, um, yeah, let me turn the music down a little bit. There we are. And uh, let's discuss Spyro 1. So, what, do you th what did you think of the Spyro 1 remake? Um, I liked it, actually. Um, well, give me more than I liked it. <laughs> well, let me finish. Okay, fine. <laughs> Sir. I mean, there were Sir. some designs that I didn't really like. Like? Um, what? Dr. Shemp, his oh, design. Really? I did. I like the old version a lot better. Okay. Um, Nor Nasty's design, I did not like. I kind of like it. He looked more ogre-ish. Yeah, yeah. You know, like a Nork. I think Norks are supposed to be like a type of ogre. Or something. So I think that I thought that fit well. I mean, there's just some designs that I was like, oh my gosh, I love it. Like the um, dragons and dream weavers. Yeah, the, and... the, the the dragon designs in each world. They're not all cookie cutter with different shapes. They're they're like 
they're actually different characters, you know, there's no palette swap. Okay, there is sometimes, but still, they were all really different and individualistic. I think is the word I'm trying to go I for mean, here. The skies were absolutely beautiful. The that sky boxes, yeah, that was you the just sky. Look at the sky, and then you're like in awe. Yeah, the, the yeah, I, I remember m m mentioning the sky. Huh? Look at the sky. They're like, oh my gosh. Even the aurora in most of the worlds, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. So, but level design. What do you think of the level design? It was pretty detailed, actually. I was. Yeah. I wasn't like expecting the big goofy faces and the walls like you see on the screen there. Yeah, like that. Or, that um. That's a reference to Crash, obviously. Yeah, I, I, it looks like it looks just like uh, what's his name, Aku Aku, Aku just Aku? with the silly face on the top of that temple there. Yeah, not silly, and you got placed in none of these makers. Well, I guess he's grown too, because he's <laughs> that's like triple the size of the real Aku Aku, but um. I have to say I did love the designs, just about all of them, really. I mean, Artisans was nice, lush, and hilly, um, along with its other worlds, you know? Yeah. And I loved how it wasn't, the like, land didn't just cut off into some ravine or some water. Like, there was actually land around that world. Like, yeah, exactly. Toasty was in look, what looked like an archipelago. Um, and, you know, um, Jacques, it looked like you were in some layer in hell. Yeah, it looked like you were in this big jagged crater, you know, yeah. not in just, they're not, not all just floating islands, Bart Sands, uh, Dream Rivers, um, and, and Dark Passage and Lofty Castle, um, I mean, it, and Haunted Towers. It was something that I loved, um, what was your favorite level redesign, though? I have to agree. Um, that was I, Dreamweavers was my favorite level they remade in. Um, I mean, in the first game here. Peacekeepers was always like my favorite, but yeah. until I seen the Dreamweavers remaster, I'm just like remake. It's a re these are remakes, not remasters. Remake. People confuse that term all the time. Yeah. It's really Final Fantasy X for PS3 and 4 and Steam. That's a remaster. This is a remake. They even showed they rebuilt it from the ground up. So let me just make Maybe that clear. This is a strong. remake. <laughs> but yeah. Nice job, too. But um, the thing is, it's just... I, <laughs> honestly, so, I, I was also surprised they kept the butt shaking at you. <laughs> and Peacekeepers when the Norks Peace shake their butt. Yeah. yeah, the censorship. A lot of people, when they seen uh, Twilight Harbor with their guns, they weren't bullet guns, but they were just goo guns, it seemed. Yeah, people were upset um, about People were there. really angry that they're in, and worried that um, they'd be censoring Spyro. Yeah. Oh, oh, hell, I'm back. They didn't. You know, they kept the butt shaking. They kept, they even kept... There was another level with the guns. Um, uh, oh, it's on the tip of... Jar Canyon. Jar Canyon, yeah. You know, um, the Conquistador-looking guys in uh, Clifftown, you know. Yeah. What else would there be? Um, you know, they didn't really censor a whole lot. Sure, they changed the weapons in Twilight. Hi, Hi. Um, sure, they changed the guns around in... Uh, just one, that was just one I little minor like design, though. I was a nice touch and replace the bullets. I'm going to yeah. go against the masses here. Mm -hmm. Because it looked like they were actually taking the ground lava of that level. Yeah, and the water, and, they and they can actually see it's actually... Weapon. Yeah, it, it almost looks like as you go through the level there, they, they pump the water up. Yeah, and then definitely. have it go through a bunch of these buildings and turn it into good, it seems. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, and then just the overall detail, like you said. Every, they went above and beyond with all the detail and stuff. I mean, I love it how it's not just flat textures everywhere, mm -hmm. but there's actually, I mean, there's different colors. Like, or like the mist and misty bog. It wasn't like you actually see in the background with little huts coming out and little fish. Yeah, and as we can see here in this preview image, Beastmakers here, how you can actually see the entire level. It's not just all in a thick fog. Um, so, and uh, you can see the whole level, and it's like a lush swamp. I love the added backgrounds, like I said, with Toasty. So, yeah, they did a really good job. What would you rate the uh, the music? You didn't really hear a lot of the music, unfortunately. I heard some of it, and I liked yeah. it. Um, you were replaying um, last Spyro night. Spyro Yeah, Spyro on uh, Magic Crafters, and you switched it to the original and back to the remaster. It looked, it sounded, re hush, it sounded <laughs> so Amazing. close. So close, yeah. And it's obviously it updated like, and has more sounds to it, but it still kept it true to the original. 
You know, they didn't just change it to up, like, again, I go back to the Final Fantasy X remaster where they really changed up some music. They didn't do that here. They just updated it, added a few more background sounds and stuff. Oh, yeah. So, um, let's see. I can't say voices, but I'll say the voice acting was really good. Um, oh, yeah. My dragon, mm -hmm. the dragons, and the dream rivers were the best. With the moves, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the designs is, were awesome. Um, open world act. Don't have much time. In 30 minutes, I'm going to have to go around to get ready for my flight home. Ooh, which you're really good. Ooh, happy flying. Safe travels. <laughs> I actually is this out for PC? No. Um, I've had, There's rumors that they want to eventually put it to PC. I think Crash Bandicoot's on PC. I don't the remember. Insane Trilogy. I think it might be on PC. So... I'm sure this would be on PC eventually, but not right now, I as mean, far as I know. I'm gonna probably have my first flight this Friday to Pennsylvania, so... Yeah, speaking of flights, yeah, next week when I play this, I'm gonna be playing Spyro nonstop until I 100% all three games. I mean, <laughs> Maybe even after that I'll, I'll do some trophy hunting or something, I don't know. But, um, I, yeah, next week I will be soloing this. We don't have to, we can screen share. That's too much on the internet, though. We're not moved yet. Speaking of moving, um... Here's the thing. I'm not... I'm gonna be on someone else's internet. Not this internet, so it might work out a lot better. But don't forget, this internet still sucks. Yeah, but... So... <laughs> I can barely stream now as it is. I mean... I'm lucky I can stream now. You've only played Spyro 1? Uh... Well, you know what, Open World Addict, this is good for you, because today we're starting Spyro's 2 Ripto's Rage. Yeah. We just wanted to, I just wanted to stop for a second and just discuss Spyro 1 for a little bit, because we didn't get the chance to when I ended my last stream two weeks ago. Yeah, Spyro 1's um, my favorite out of all the trilogy. The entire trilogy? Yeah. Yeah. Spyro 3 is my favorite, but we'll get to that soon enough. Oh, Spyro 3 is my favorite villain, that's all I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I know who you're talking about. So, and only... And only part of Spyro. Ooh, okay. Um, I'm just well, gonna yeah. say you're gonna be amazed. It's a really nice game. I I haven't played it myself per se, but I have watched gameplay of it. And well, you sat here and watched it, watched me yeah. play it, you know, and reacting with me. You know, I'm sorry you can't hear it, hear it except on stream, but it's an amazing experience, mm -hmm. and it's just like. I, I never thought it would happen, it's just like a childhood is Yeah, like. and you actually have my stream on your phone, so you can actually hear the sounds, although delayed. Yeah. So we can actually be quiet and listen to the cutscenes now. Because Spyro 2 has a lot more cutscenes. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, yeah. Let's get to All it. Alright, uh, no, I just want to make sure we've discussed I as much as we can about Spyro 1. I think it's um, going to start Spyro 2. I, I just feel like we're missing something about... Spyro 1 that we're just we're in our discussion. I mean, Sparks is... The animations! How about the animations? They were, well, and the uh, enemy redesigns and stuff like that. Yeah, the animations were really good. It's not blocky, it's not laggy. It's very smooth. Um, and all the graphics and stuff. The loading times, I will have to say, are a little longer than the original, but... Yeah, but it, it's... I've it's had worse things that happen in my life, so I honestly don't care. As long as the levels are beautiful and the game's well done. Gameplay. Gameplay is what we're missing. Yeah. What do you think of the gameplay? I mean, it obviously stays true to the original. They didn't change the gameplay at all, which I like. You know when I have to get up? Um. They all oh, I yeah. Said that. <laughs> yeah, Midnight Lady, uh, since uh, Beast Maker Zana decided to do a fail counter. Uh, so, which is actually rather entertaining. I feel there's going to be a lot, of, lot more fails in Spyro 2 because all the more uh, stuff that goes on. But gameplay, like I said, the flight levels are actually a little more challenging. I think they gave you a little less time. Um, all the flights I've had trouble with. And all the flights I've had trouble and You even had trouble with treetops and... Well, I'm just talking flight strictly right now because um, Night Flight and Crystal Flight are my favorites. And they used to be so easy for me, you know, and you know, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 I get it. I used to watch you like one shot every... Mm -hmm. every yeah. Like, without a problem, so... Yeah, and treetops, I don't know... I mean, treetops is just as hard as it was, so... I, I like how... I also like how they did not simpli oversimplify the game, or dumb it down in any way. They kept mm -hmm. the gameplay challenges the same. The difficulty. Um, so... Yeah. So with that, let's do a rating. How about... Do a, a zero... Uh, a, zero. Out of ten... I honestly... Z uh, uh, a 10... Out of 10 rating. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Tongue twister there. With opinions aside, it's an honest 
No, just give me honest and every reason. Uh, with some of the characters being a little, um, I feel like they shouldn't, like, Dr. Shem should have just stayed Dr. Shem. Without the fat cheeks and it, that, that, that kind of took You're really away. bugging on Dr. Shem. Yeah, that, it took away the scariness of him. He didn't look he, scary. Yeah, you know, you're right. He did look a little more silly now that I think yeah. about it. Yeah, he, he's not silly. He is scary. He wants to He's a cool guy. Out. He's a tough guy. Yeah. You know, he looked right, really silly. He's out of character, and I to do you. not like that. Right. Uh, with me. Um, right. But, work like, is kind of out of right. nice character you. going, I'm ugly. And I just think he, in, in the main concept, that Nork was to be created just to go after the dragons and just pure hate. Well, they did. They captured all the dragons and crystal. Their job was done. What else do they do than just sit around? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it, my big main one is Dr. Shem, to be honest. And so, as uh, but the game as a whole... Uh, I'll it, give uh, it a 9 out of 10. Out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to give it a 10 out of 10. It was really fun. I had a, an amazing time just exploring all the levels all over again. And it's exactly what I envisioned this would be, you know, it's exactly what I wanted. What a lot of fans wanted, really. Mm -hmm. So I give it a full 10-10. Um, although you see 58% um, on this profile, um, it's... Oops. Nice. Sorry, I hit something. I'm on a different save slot, so yeah, I did 100%, 20% Spyro 1, just as proof there. Um, you, never made, you never made it past through the second world, Peacekeepers. Peacekeepers is a fun level. Oh, it is. You'll love the next three. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, so how about we cut the talk here? We've been talking jabbering yeah, for know. 20 minutes. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's <laughs> and play. let's do Spyro 2. So there's going to be a lot of cutscenes here, so we'll both be a little quiet um, to listen to everything. So yeah, let's do this. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> In the world of I like how they keep this too. You guys are gonna hear it way before I do. So. Mm hmm. Yeah, I minute mean, I just got the stream delay, so. Is this rain ever gonna stop? I've forgotten what the sun looks like. We should go on vacation. Somewhere warm, somewhere sunny. Dragon Shores, yeah! I haven't been there since we kicked Nasty Nork's butt. How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? Whoa. Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well, someone forgot to invite me to the party. Oh wow! Were you trying to keep something from me? I'm so much your pussy. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm, not, I'm, stuck. I'm not saying much. A dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! <laughs> Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! <laughs> I'll deal with you later! Who 
was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <laughs> All right, the adventure begins. Now I'm gonna let Midnight Lady catch up for a second, so. So how's everyone doing today? Okay, so I have to say, I love all the redesigns, and I love the voice acting so I don't far. Like, I don't like Hunter. No? Really he looks don't. quite different, doesn't he? He does. I mean, not exactly as I'd expect, but, you know, I was expecting more like a Hero's Tale type design, mm -hmm. you know, but, um, yeah. So, <laughs> and I have to say, I have, what? Avalora was actually pretty good. Yeah, Alora. Toe looks more like a... Evil toe. Evil toe. <laughs> I know his redesign, and I love the animations, like how we, I, how like Zoe kind of oh, spoilers, the fairy, whatever I said it, Zoe kind of struggled with. Yeah. Um, gulp there for a second. Um, I love the added an animations and stuff. So, um, yeah, that was really awesome. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I didn't expect the stream delay to be that bad, but um, yeah. Yeah, it lagged a little bit on stream too during the cutscene. Oh, so. did it? Yeah. How bad? It was just that one little, like, lag, so... Oh, it says I have some drop frames here, so hopefully it's not bad. Ah, random pickup. Okay. So, uh, let's see. Let's check to the guidebook here. Um, well, we got a couple extra collectibles this time, since all the dragons are free and we're not even... Oh, actually, there's one more thing about the cuts first cutscene I wanted to uh, mention. It actually took place in Stone Hill. You could actually see it with an added portal and an added tree. It was that was Stone Hill. They didn't. I make a, noticed they, that. Yeah, they didn't make an all new map like they did. I'm a little disappointed it didn't use that map, but it's still cool to see an old level. Still, I mean, people speculated it was actually the front of Artisan's Castle because in the original, we, it was thought we saw only the back of it mm -hmm. in, in Artisan's. Yeah. But now we could see it's actually a part of the world we've already explored. It was. It looked like Stone Hill. I think it said somewhere that uh, Spyro was um, is from Stone Hill too. So. Yeah, he's an artisan dragon. Yeah. Anyway, so that was a nice touch, but yeah. So we got a couple extra collectibles here. Um, well, I'll explain them as we go. So let's explore uh, Glimmer here. Um, let's see. Exploring options. So um, got all that. We still have the map. Which and notice how the game, this game has a blue theme going about it. I like it. When in the first, I like each game has like a different color, color scheme to it. Like the first one was purple, mm -hmm. and the lettering or the numbering there and the lettering and stuff you can see was sort of like a goldish color, like the original. Now they went with the theme. Now it's all sort of a blue hue. You know, I really like that. Blue's my favorite color too, royal blue. So. My mine's actually one of one of mine is purple. So it's just like yeah. yeah you can see a bluish purple, but yeah, they kept. A map option which I'm really happy for so and I will be 100%ing this game um, as well so this will be exciting yes I will and I just I don't know, whatever. <gasps> that crystal's gone so I can't oh speaking of uh, th if you've watched my um, original let's play of this I have it on YouTube um, I can't say the commentary is really that great but I tried but if you're interested um, but what I did what oh, okay you just went, I thought you, like, I said something to offend you, like, hmm, why? <laughs> nope, it was a hiccup. All right. Um, so if you're familiar with the original Spyro, is my point, um, you're used to this little gimmick called the double jump, where you press X and square, kind of mid-hop, X and then like square mid-hop. You can, if you do it just right, you can do like some, like kind of a double jump. Mm -hmm. And I abused the heck out of it 
um, not in the playthrough on YouTube, but every time I played Spyro 2, I did it. So, well, did they keep it? I thought they didn't. I tried it before. Did I not do it right? 